Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are going to talk about three tools that we were using in, in the past videos, which are Docker, uh, Jenkins, and SonarCube. We will also use a remote repository in GitHub to retrieve the code. We are going to create a custom image of SonarCube by including a new plugin, which is not included by default inside of the image. And we are going to use Jenkins for doing that and a custom Docker file to specify the, the plugin. So for this purpose, I had created this job. This Jenkins job is a parameterized one. And we are going to check what I configure here. This is um, a pipeline job. I'm going to see its configuration. I also put some parameters here. First, the application repository, which is uh, hosted in GitHub. Also, I, I was going to use an app name parameter as well as version. These two parameters will create the, the, the tag for the Docker image, which is com composed by the name, colon and the, the version and also a sonar cube uh, will be deployed locally in the local host i'm going to specify a port because by default sonar cube is using the the port 9 9000 but we can specify another port in the docker properties so i had created this pipeline let me explain a, a bit. It, it has three stages. One is the checkout. It will download the, the code from, from GitHub. I had specify a credentials, which I previously added for, for another video. And it will take the, the repository from the, from the parameter. So I'm going to use this way. Also, I'm going to list what I just download or clone from the, from the uh, remote repository. And also, I'm going to check who is running this, this pipeline. The next stage is a simple stage to create a Docker image. I'm going to use the docker build command, and I'm going to specify the, the app name colon and the version. These two will create the, the Docker image in my local machine with this information. And finally, I'm going to deploy SonarCube locally, which means I'm going to start in my local host a new SonarCube instance. Also, I'm going to retrieve the image ID because uh, when we create a new image with the Docker build, uh, Docker will assign a, an ID for that image and I need that one in order to start the, the application. I'm using a series of Linux commands here to get that image ID. And finally, I'm going to use that image ID right here as well as the port that I will get from the user in the in the previous section i i show you that and i'm going to use a docker run to start the application okay let's go to the repository in github to analyze a bit the docker file that we are going to use this is the docker file okay it will use the sonar cube image as a base and i'm going to add a new plugin this way so i'm specifying the from sonar cube latest which is the version and i place the, the wrong command which will be a, only a wget to download this this plugin called mini orange it is for single sign-on 
so we can enable single sign-on in SonarCube. I'm going to demonstrate this part in a future video. But for now, the, the purpose of this is to, to check how can we customize our SonarCube image. And uh, in the wget command, I'm specifying the option O uh, to, to tell the command where to download the, the plugin, the jar file, which is opt SonarCube extensions plugins. Here are located, located all the plugins inside of the don, so, sorry the SonarCube image. And I'm going to add a new one. Okay. Uh, just for just wanted to mention that here is the the page in GitHub, the public page, the public repository, where we can download the the plugin. So I this is the URL that I'm using in the in the Docker file. Okay. I'm going to run this this job and let's see what happens. First, I'm going to click on build with parameters. Here I'm going to put the image name, which will be SonarCube Custom. And the version I'm going to label as latest. And I want to run this, this application in this port, 8765. So I'm going to build now. Okay, the pipeline just it will start in a few seconds. Okay, it will display the the cubes right here. Okay, it just finished the checkout. I'm going to go to the console output to see a bit more. As you can see, it is using a previously credentials, which is called GitHub underscore one. It is cloning the repository. Then um, I, I use an LS and display the Docker file, which is the only content from that repository. And also start building the image. In the step one, it is using the SonarCube image. The step two, it is downloading the, the jar file and it will put that jar file in this location as a specified in the Docker file. Okay, it just finish this, um, this download process and it is starting the third stage here in this, in this section. It's echo deploying and what it will do is only to start the the image. It is running the the docker run command, the port that I just specified, and also the the image ID. Okay, I run this um, I run this image to create a container in a detached mode, which is this option D. That's why it is uh, only showing the the hash for this this container, and if we go in the terminal and check Docker ps, we will see that the the container is running. It was triggered by Jenkins, and I'm going to check. Docker logs. I'm going to check what is um, displaying right now because SonarCube will take about four or five minutes to start. At the moment, it is registering the rules. So I'm going to pause the video and resume once the the Sonar image is up.